Hey guys, Quacker Spooks here. Today is October 14th, 2021, and it's Thursday, which means we're doing NFL predictions. So, let's start with tonight's matchup. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers play the Philadelphia Eagles at Lincoln Financial Field. Um... I'm going to be picking the Buccaneers because, you know, they're the Bucks. they have Tom Brady, and the Eagles, they don't look too good, especially even having Devontae Smith. Um, I don't think they're a good football team, so, yeah, they're probably going to have a top draft pick in the 2022 NFL Draft. Um, So, I'm going to be picking the Buccaneers for this matchup. The Miami Dolphins take on the Jacksonville Jaguars um, uh, in London. So, this is going to be the other London game. Jags are in London, of course. But I'm going to be picking the Dolphins. Um... Jaguars are going to lose their 21st consecutive game because they're the Jaguars and nothing good ever happens with them. So, yeah. I'm going to be picking the Dolphins. The Minnesota Vikings take on the Carolina Panthers. Um... I'm going to be picking the Panthers. I mean, the Vikings won against the Lions last week in a, on a game-winning field goal. Because you know how the Lions work. And stuff like that. But I'm going to be picking the Panthers for this matchup. I know they've lost their last two games to Dallas and Philadelphia. I'm not sure how they won against Philly. Lost against Philadelphia, though. That's. So. They're currently 3 and 2. So. I'm going to be picking the Panthers. They're going to be going 4 and 2. Uh. Yeah. Be picking the Panthers for this one. The Los Angeles Chargers take on the Baltimore Ravens, who won in a thriller on Monday night against the Indianapolis Colts. I'm going to be picking the Ravens. Not that the Chargers aren't going to put up a fight, but I think they'll lose to the Ravens because, you know, they're the Ravens and, you know, Lamar Jackson is a god. So, yeah, I'm going to be picking the Ravens for this matchup here. The Los Angeles Rams take on the New York Giants. And, of course, I have to pick the Rams because they're actually a good team. And the Giants, even though they won against the Saints two weeks ago, I think um, think they're still not a very good team. Even with, even trading down for Kadarius Toney, that didn't, that didn't really help for them. Um, I just, I just feel that, like... Um, yeah, the Giants, they've never, they haven't been good in a long time. Um, I feel like they're going to start the year off one and seven again. So, yeah, I'm going to be picking the Rams. They'll be starting the year five and one. The Houston Texans take on the Indianapolis Colts. I'm going to be picking the Colts. 
I mean, they did look pretty decent for three quarters on Monday night, but, you know, they still lost to the Ravens. Um, I mean, if they could pull this off against Houston, who's just a dumpster fire, I think they could I think they could pull that off with a win. So I'm going to be picking the Colts for this matchup just because, you know, they're playing the Texans, and that's an easy matchup. The Kansas City Chiefs take on the Washington football team. Of course. Excuse me. I am going to be picking the Chiefs because I'm a Chiefs fan. And Washington, I know we lost to the Bills. I expected to lose to the Bills. Um, and yeah, we, we lost to the bills in a horrible fashion. We lost 38 to 20. Um, I mean, yeah, we lost to the bills, but that's, but we can bounce back against Washington. I mean, their defense is pretty good, but our defense is pretty sucky. But Washington hasn't been doing so hot. And neither of us, but neither have we. But, but you know, it's, it's, it could be a bounce back. I think, they could, I think they could pull this off. I think we could pull it off. So, yeah, I'm going to be picking the Chiefs. Uh, we'll be 500 again, at least. The Green Bay Packers take on the Chicago Bears. I'm going to be picking the Packers. I know they, they won in a thriller against Cincinnati. The battle of missed field goals. So, yeah, I'm going to be picking the Packers. Um... Just kiss the Bears. They just didn't look too good. Against, uh, I mean, they won against the Raiders, and even though the Raiders didn't look too good, it, it just, they're the Bears, and they don't have nice things. So I'm going to be picking the Packers. The Cincinnati Bengals take on the Detroit Lions. Um, I'm going to be picking... Uh, the Bengals, and and for good reason too. They act, they almost won in a thriller against Green Bay, but they're playing Detroit. This is an easy opponent for them. You know, last week they made Dan Campbell actually cry. Like seriously, they made Dan Campbell cry last week after they lost. Um. Um, yeah. They made Dan Campbell cry. So I'm picking the peg, the Bengals. The Bengals for this one. The Arizona Cardinals take on the Cleveland Browns at First Energy Stadium. Um, I'm going to be picking the Browns and not because the Cardinals um, will still they'll still have the division leave at five and one but I'm not really sure mainly because I'm not sure if the Rams or the Cardinals would have the division leave at five and one if my predictions are correct so yeah I'm gonna be picking um, the Browns. Uh, I know they lost to the Chargers uh, last week. Uh, it was a hard-fought battle. I thought they could pull off with a win. But Justin Herbert and the Chargers, they actually looked like a decent football team. And they're 4-1 and one currently. And they're, at the, and they're at the top of the AFC West. 
that makes me infuriated because they're part of our division. As for the Cardinals, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be blunt here. They're gonna lose their first game this week. They're the lone undefeated team. But that's that's gonna that's gonna change. So yeah, I'm gonna be picking the Browns for this one. The Dallas Cowboys take on the New England Patriots. Um, at Gillette Stadium. Um, I'm going to be picking the Cowboys. Patriots have a lot of problems. And it showed last year, too. It showed with, like, how they've, like, played over the past few weeks. They just haven't been looking too good. And, yeah, I think the Cowboys are going to pull it off with a win. They're currently at the top of the NFC East at 4-1. and one. So, yeah. What are you picking the Cowboys? The Las Vegas Raiders take on the Denver Broncos at Empower Field at Mile High. Um... I'm going to be picking the Broncos. Um, and the Raiders, yeah, they don't look good. And there, there's this little situation with John Gruden. Um, he resigned as the head coach of the Raiders because of some suspicious emails that he sent to Bruce Allen and many others over the course of seven years' time. He criticized um, a player who was black for having very large lips. He criticized Roger Goodell for the lockout back in 2011. He criticized Michael Sam, who was the first openly gay player drafted in the league as a defensive end. And he felt that Roger Goodell pressure Jeff Fisher who was the head coach at the time to draft Michael Sam there's a lot there's a lot of um oh yeah the player that uh, he criticized for having large lips was Demory Smith and that kind of started with him so yeah but I'm gonna be picking the Broncos and the Raiders, yeah. Even though they started the year 3-0, and I knew they would collapse again. So, yeah, I'm picking the Broncos. Even though they looked pretty terrible against the Steelers last week. They're playing the Raiders. That's an easy, that's an easy one. The Seattle Seahawks take on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, I'm going to be picking the Steelers. And the Seahawks, they don't look too good. I mean, they're going to start Geno Smith because uh, Russell Wilson currently has a finger injury that's supposed to sideline him a few weeks. Um, And he needs to recover from that injury. Um, As for the Steelers, yeah. Seahawks offense... Even though they went 12-4 and four last year, they just didn't look... They don't look like playoff contenders to me. And as for the Steelers, I'm sorry, but they're going to go 3-3. Three and three. I'm not really sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. And it's only week six. This is the Sunday night game, too, so... Um, I'm going to be picking the Steelers for this one. The Buffalo Bills take on the Tennessee Titans on Monday Night Football at Nissan Stadium. 
and I'm going to be picking the Bills. They actually look like a good football team. They beat the Chiefs. They beat us last week. So, yeah. I'm going to be picking the Titans. The Bills, I'm sorry. I'm picking the Bills for this one. Anyways, we'll see you guys next week. Thursday, October 21st. Uh, for week 7 predictions. See ya.